So we're here at the CCA Workbench, Dave, yes, and sir. we talk about new products every week. Yep. And you know what? I think I'm going to start if you don't mind. You go ahead. You, you know, because it's tarpon <laughs> season, I just thought early in the season like this, it'd be really cool to talk about some different fly line tapers by scientific anglers. Right. So when you're an advanced caster, what you need to understand is this is the scientific angler series. This is called the mastery series. And if you notice here, Dave. Not on, for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on the bottom, that shows you what the taper is like. So what it does is the 30-foot weight forward uh -huh. section, what it does is it, it's, it's a longer taper. It's designed for guys that are really good at being able to carry a lot of line. But if you're a guy that maybe potentially needs a little bit of help, then they also make the saltwater taper. And what I mean by little help you can tell by this diagram here on the bottom. So when you go to a tackle store and you're looking at all the different fly lines, understand that this saltwater taper is weighted a little bit more forward with less running line in the front. You can see the difference in the two lines. Get a good picture here right. of, the, of how they're different tapers. There's a much different taper for the tarpon mastery. Now, moving on, <clears throat> the Grand Slam is on days when it's blowing 25. I think I shared really this with end. you. <laughs> yeah, what what we have here is it's really heavy. It'd be like having a golf ball in the air in the end of a pair of tube socks. So it really punches into the wind. So if you're standing out on the ocean and you're struggling to get the boat, you know, get the line out 25 or 30 feet, you might want to try this one. It's called the aptitude Amplitude. 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 This really works. And then occasionally, Dave, you might run into a situation where you got some spooky fish or it's in real clear water. So you can buy the Sonar Titan, which is what I use for when the fish potentially could be seeing the fly line and has a clear tip. The last 15 or 20 feet of it is clear. I got you. So there's a little 101 on scientific angler fly lines. When you go to the shop, just check out the diagram on the back or ask one of the sales assistants. They'll Beauty. Give, get Beauty. you right. Definitely needs, I would definitely need some assistance on those. All right, next we have from, this is uh, from TH Marine. This is the Z Launch uh, launch cord. And mm -hmm. what this does, you know, I, I go fishing by myself a lot while I bring my little dog, but you know, she doesn't help me launch the boat. And that's what this thing does. It helps you launch the boat. You know, you put this on your eye ring on the, on the front of your boat, and then you attach that to your winch there, your winch clip. Mm -hmm. And when the boat, the boat leaves the trailer, this thing stretches out real nice and doesn't jerk the boat around or jerk anybody who's holding or on to this you, thing. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, it it's, makes you, it eases the launching process for when you're by yourself, especially. Does this come in a variety of links? Yes, it does. It comes in 10, 15, and 20. So, nice. you know, it'll, it'll handle up to, you know, a pretty good sized boat, actually. Bungee cord for your launching of correct, your boat. Correct, correct. Love it. What Next else you got? Next we have, these are the band of anglers. These are called, you know, we had the prototypes on here a, a while back, but these are the brand new finished models of the dart spin. These were designed by Patrick Sabeel. And, you know, what I like about them is they're just very versatile. They're, you can rig them in a lot of different ways. They're weedless, and they have that nice little... Uh, propeller on the back, the little spinner blade, the willow spinner blade that adds a lot of flash and vibration. You can fish that thing like a jig. You can fish it close to the bottom. You can throw it into a, a mat of crap and drive it across the top. They're just very, very versatile. They, they, they're they super, uh, super plastic on here that's very hard to break. Uh, and, you, and it comes in, you know, they only sell them in twos and threes because of that, because it'll last a long time. So you got about 20 seconds? Well, these are the Rod Runner reel racks. And what's really great about these things is they, <laughs> is they come in singles or triples. And I've got one that I, I just bungee corded to the to the front, I mean, uh, zip tied to the front of my uh, boat. What, what's really cool about them is you, you mount these the, mount these blocks. And oh. then you, once the blocks are mounted, you can r remove or replace these rod holders. You can put two and three on there. You can mount these blocks on the on the ceiling. You can mount them on the on the wall and put your rods in the garage or on the ceiling. And it's re what's really good about them is they come off really easy, and you can put multiples or ones or twos or whatever you like. And I really really think these are cool. Rod I runner rod racks. We're you done talking. Rod 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 you get a rod holder.